Andy Grist. Um, we're going to be talking a little bit about um, set plays, but specifically more to do with defending corners. Um, with any kind of set play or dead ball situation, whether it's a throw in, <coughs> a free kick, <coughs> excuse me, a corner or a um, goal kick, any, any kind of dead ball situation, um, if you're on offense, the element of surprise and taking advantage of the defensive team not setting up as quick. Um, is key and, and can create opportunities to score. So knowing that on the other side of that defensively we must also try to set up quickly and be vigilant of um, the other team taking opportunities to, uh, to, to you know, attack. So, but anyway specifically talking about um, defending the goal uh, corners and as we were defending from this side of the field the goalkeeper um, I'll tilt the goal just slightly so we can see this. Um, <clears throat> we'll use typically set back about three quarters way back in the goal, but depending on the ability of these players to send balls in, um, may vary and may adjust. Um, it's always remember it's always easier to run forward than it is to try to back pedal. So we always stand a little bit further back in the goal. But if we find that these players are playing short a lot of the time, then maybe sneaking forward um, into the front half there would be would be advisable so um, now we refer to the uh, two defenders two outside defenders whose job is basically to defend the posts and that is, sounds like uh, the defending the post is a bit silly but um, really their job is to stand at the post but the first front post person here should be uh, close enough not to let the ball through and then basically you know acting as a protection there on the front not allowing the ball through into there so on the back side, um, this player does not stand on the post. They tuck into the goal. And as you can see, they tuck into the goal to help protect the goal. And that is their concern. They can protect and stop anything from going in on that back side. So, um, two defenders set up like so. The two central defenders, uh, we will have them um, at the top of the six. Um, one on the center, one towards the front. And we create kind of a barrier there for the for the goalkeeper um, now we have to go back to where we talk about the first defender and obviously the role of the first defender is to pressure everything in front so every player has the responsibility of anything directly in front of them they must go pressure the ball they must clear the ball out on the side of the ball is on if it goes over the back side then they'll be clearing out so here on the front side it would go out would clear out to here so basically this little area in through here is the goalkeeper's responsibility and if the goalie does have to collect the ball we don't stand and watch we close in around and we help just in case they drop the ball we protect the goal and then these players should be there to help clear in case there's some kind of confusion in and around that area um, if it drops out then obviously we step and we pressure okay and the players are all hips should be kind of tilted slightly so that it's facing out the way we're going we can see the ball and we can see any opponents that may be running into that area. So, now we move on to the uh, midfielders and assuming we have four midfielders, um, we will talk about the, the midfielder that's playing on this side, the left midfielder as we're attacking that way. Basically their responsibility is to take this front part of the, the edge of the six right here and again hips tilted slightly and not to allow anything low through the box. Now, um, the back side or the right-sided midfielder, you know, they will not. They will come in and they will create, okay, and come into here to create a bigger ring to help protect the front of that goal. And their responsibility is obviously everything in, in front of them. Our two central midfielders, one will drop back into this area and one will hold the top of the box. And you know, anything again in through this area, they must step immediately and pressure. Okay, and so that leaves two players. Knowing that we're going to clear out this side on balls this side, this forward must drop back in. And here we're trying to clear the ball in. And this is a great opportunity when we're in this position defending a, a goal kick, a, a corner, that the other team is all pushed forward. So we know there is space behind their defense. And this is great to counter attack and see if we can get in behind there and see if we can get ourselves a goal when they're, when we're put, they're pushed up that far. So the other forward, you know, basically is being at the halfway line, waiting to, to balls coming in and then, hey, can we send that ball through into that position over behind or 
maybe play the feet and play a combination between these two players. So, some other things to remember. Uh, if the ball is played short, a short pass, it's the responsibility of this near side player to come out and we don't want this player out on their own. This central midfielder will step out too and this forward should track back in and also help keep the ball contained over here. Can we win it back and can we get a counter attack? So, once the ball has been cleared out, it is up the, to the goalkeeper and these last defenders to, to step and get everybody to step out quickly, leaving players in an offside position and helping support the attack or maybe pressuring the ball away from the front of our goal and clearing everybody out. So um, this is a zonal defense um, opposed to a man-to-man. -man. The downside to playing man-to-man -man is that there may be match mismatches all over the field and trying to figure out who would match up well obviously creates a lot of confusion. This setup, everybody's responsible for an error on the field. Um, the other problem with the man-to-man -man is that whereas they're running, these players are attacking and running in, we're obviously running back in with them and we're coming towards our own goal. So there's a downside that it's very difficult to clear if we're running back this way. So, you know, we play a zone and every player must be responsible for picking up and, and being aggressive, uh, stepping out and pressuring and not letting the ball bounce. The ball should never bounce on defending these. We must clear the ball. We must put our head on this. We must sacrifice ourselves and get the ball out of this danger area.